Welcome to the rocket profile of Cosmos 2, perhaps the strangest Soviet rocket. Cosmos 2 was launched 127 times between 1965 and 1977, boasting a low Earth orbit payload capacity of just 350 kilograms on a liftoff mass of 48.75 tons. It was adapted from the R-12 ballistic missile which had been deployed during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The first stage engine is the 4 combustion chamber RD-214U, which burned TM-185, a fuel consisting of a mix of kerosene and gasoline, with AK-27I, which is a red fuming nitric acid mix with 73% nitric acid and 27% nitrogen tetroxide. If that sounds overly complicated, the situation was made worse by the fact that the propellants don't spontaneously ignite. So a few kilograms of tonka, 50% triethylamine and 50% xylidine, had to be added to the ignition process. The result was still a storable first stage that was suitable for ballistic missile deployment, and the same mix is used in the infamous Scud missiles still. The gas generator engine produced 635.2 kN of thrust at launch, with a sea level specific impulse of 230 seconds, and a burn time of 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The rocket's second stage is actually the strange part. The RD-119 engine uses the storable hypergolic unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine UDMH, fuel so often used on Soviet rockets like Proton, but not with its normal oxidizer counterpart, nitrogen tetroxide, or even the AK-27I used in the first stage. Instead, the oxidizer for the stage is liquid oxygen, which is not storable, making the stage, also previously used on Cosmos 1, which is mostly identical to Cosmos 2, the only UDMH locked stage ever to reach service. The mix provide very high efficiency, a specific impulse in vacuum of 352 seconds, which is beyond what the normal UDMH and nitrogen tetroxide mix can achieve, and a decent thrust of 106 kN in vacuum for 4 minutes and 14 seconds. The engine also featured steering using gas generator exhaust, electronically distributed through a series of fixed nozzles instead of the normal verniers on Soviet rockets. Exclusively used for Cosmos and Intracosmos designation payloads, mainly space surveillance and early warning satellites as well as Earth orbit science payloads, Cosmos 2 is relatively obscure compared to rockets that carried heavier exploration probes. It managed a 93% success rate during its time in service. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Cosmos 2.